Happy Halloween, fellow cosmic enthusiasts. As we celebrate the spookiest day of the year, we've got a treat that's sure to send chills down your spine. Finally, here are some good news about SpaceX Starship. But before we start, please subscribe for all upcoming SpaceX's updates. SpaceX's colossal Starship rocket has surmounted a significant regulatory milestone on its journey to its second ever liftoff. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, made a recent announcement confirming the completion of its thorough safety review for the Starship, which focuses on evaluating the potential risks associated with launches concerning public health and property. Despite this positive development, there remains another crucial regulatory requirement before SpaceX can secure a license for the upcoming Starship liftoff. The FAA disclosed in an email statement, the FAA is continuing to work on the environmental review. As part of this comprehensive environmental review, the FAA is collaborating with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, USFWS, to update a biological assessment under the Endangered Species Act. The FAA and the USFWS must conclude this consultation before finalizing the environmental review segment of the license evaluation. The Starship rocket, an engineering marvel, stands as the most massive and powerful rocket ever constructed. It comprises two fully reusable components, the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship upper stage, towering at nearly 400 feet, 122 meters, when fully assembled. To date, the full-scale Starship vehicle has undergone a single test flight on April 20th, launched from SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. The objective of this mission was to send the Starship upper stage on a journey partway around the world, with a splashdown targeted in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. Regrettably, this flight encountered several issues shortly after liftoff, including a failure in the separation process of its two stages. Consequently, the vehicle was intentionally detonated above the Gulf of Mexico. In the aftermath of this mishap, the FAA initiated an investigation, which was officially closed on September 8th. However, the agency emphasized that more work remained to be done before SpaceX could secure a license for the second Starship launch. The agency stipulated SpaceX must implement all corrective actions that impact public safety and apply for and receive a license modification from the FAA that addresses all safety, environmental, and other applicable regulatory requirements prior to the next Starship launch. The recent FAA update indicates that the ongoing review primarily centers on the potential implications of a water deluge system that SpaceX installed beneath the orbital launch mount at Starbase after the April test flight. This system's purpose is to shield the launch mount from the destructive force generated by the Super Heavy Booster's 33 Raptor engines. This force became evident during the April 20th launch when the Raptors caused significant damage, creating a substantial crater beneath the mount and sending debris raining down on Starbase and its vicinity. Expectations are high for the Starship's next flight after the conclusion of the environmental review, assuming all goes smoothly. SpaceX, led by founder and CEO Elon Musk, has stated that the latest Starship vehicle has successfully passed all its pre-launch assessments and is fully prepared for its next mission.